ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக வெல்கம் டு ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சீ த டாபிக் நம்பர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் எக்ஸசைஸ் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஷோ தட் தௌசண்ட் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் இஸ் நாட் எ பர்ஃபெக்ட் கியூ ஸோ ஹியர் தே ஆர் கிவன் த நம்பர் தௌசண்ட் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் யூ நீட் டு செக் வெதர் த கிவன் நம்பர் இஸ் பர்ஃபெக்ட் கியூ பார் நாட் ஸோ பை யூசிங் ப்ரைம் ஃபேக்டரைசேஷன் மெத்தட் first find out the factor of 1944 so 1944 ending with even number so divide with 2 2 nines are 18 balance is 1 then 14 2 sevens are 14 2 twos are 4 again ending with even number so again divide with 2 Two fours are eight. Balance is one seventeen. Two eights are sixteen. Then two six are twelve. Again two table. Two four. Two twos are four. Two fours are eight. Then two threes are six. Then it's divided with three table. Three eights are. Twenty-four, three ones are three. Again, three table. Two threes are six. Balance is two. Then twenty-one. Two sevens are twenty-one. Again, three table. Nine threes are twenty-seven. Again, three table. Three threes are nine. In three table, one. So whatever you are getting the factors, you can write. Two into two into two, then three into three into three into three into three. Then here you want to check that after getting the factor, you should check whether it is perfect cube. So cube is we know any number multiply itself and then again itself. So if your number multiply, if you multiply your number by itself and then by itself, that means If you are multiplying three times, okay, that is only it's called cube of the number. So, cube means you can join three three numbers together. Then, so here, three number three into three, it's it's not paired because if you want to pair, we need one more three. Then only it's a perfect cube. So, thousand nine hundred and forty four is not. A perfect cube. Next question: Find the smallest number by which ten thousand nine eighty five should be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube. So same by using prime factorization, first find out the factors of ten thousand nine eighty five. So divide. Ten thousand nine eighty five. It's divided by ending with five, so five table. Two fives are ten. Two ones, one fives are five. Remaining is four. It's forty eight. Nine fives are forty five. Then three thirty five. Seven fives are thirty five. Then thirteen table. Thirteen one sixteen times is one sixty nine times is two thousand one ninety seven. Again one sixty nine we can divide with thirteen table. Thirteen thirteen are one sixty nine. Again thirteen table one. So the factors of ten thousand nine eighty five is five into thirteen into thirteen into thirteen. So pair the number three three number. Thirteen into thirteen into thirteen into five. So thirteen we have three times. So five alone it's left without pair. So our question is the smallest number by which ten thousand ninety five should be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube. So which number is left without pair? So that number you can divide with the given number. So ten thousand. Nine eighty five divided by five. 
So 10,985 divided by 5 is 2,197. So the perfect cube of 2,197 is. So cube root of 2,197 is 13. So by which number should be divided? The quotient is a perfect cube. So which number we are divided? So 5 is left to pair. So 5 only we are divided. So, so the divided number is 5. Therefore, divided number is equal to 5. So which number is left without pair? That number you can divide with the given number. Then you will get the perfect cube. Next question, find the smallest number by which 200 should be multiplied to make it a perfect cube. So, so previous question, we are divided. But here you want to find out which number you feel if should multiply, we will get a perfect cube. Same like first find out the factors of 200. 5 table, 4 5s are 20, then 0. Again, 5 table, 8 5s are 40, then 2 table, 4 2s are 8, again 2 table, 2 2s are 4, 2 table, 1. So, the factors of 200s are 5 into 5 into 2 into 2 into 2. So, 2 we got 3 times, so underline. So, if you want to find out if you want to change the given number's perfect cube means we need 1 more 5. So, given number you can multiply by 5. 200 into 5. 0, 0, 2, 5 are 10. So, cube, so cube root of 1000 is 10. So, so here you want to find out which number should be multiplied so that it make a perfect cube. So 5 alone it's left without 5. If you are joining one more 5 here, it's a perfect cube. So therefore, the multiplied number is, the smallest multiplied number is 5. Number is equal to 5. So, which number is left without pair, you have to find out. In this, that number you can join, then multiply with the given number. So, you will get the perfect cube. Next question, find the cube root of 24, 36, 80 and 25. So, first given number, you will find the factors. 24 factors. 2 table, 2 ones are, 2 twos are 4. Again, 2 table, 2 6 are 12, 2 table, 2 3s are 6, then 3 table, 1, then 36, 3 table, 3 1s are, 3 2s are 6, again 3 table, 3 4s are 12, then 2 table, 2 2s are 4, 2 table, 1. Then 80 divide with 5 table. 5 ones are 5. Then 3, 0, 6 fives are 30. Then again 2 table. 8 twos are 16. 2 table. 2 fours are 8. Again 2 table. 2 twos are 4. Then 2 table. 1. Then 25. 5 table, 5 fives are 25, 5 table, 1. Then after find outing the factor, so all the factor you can join together and write. So here we have 2 into, 2 into, 2 into, 3. Then 3 into, 3 into, 2 into, 2. Then 5 into, 2 into, 2 into 2 into 2 then 5 into 5 after that all the 2's together you can write so how many 2's you have 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो टूगेदर यू कैन राइट देन ओनली विदउट गेटिंग कंफ्यूशन वी कैन फाइंड सो नाइन टाइम्स वी हैव देन थ्री वन टू थ्री थ्री टाइम्स देन फाइव ऑल्सो वी हैव थ्री टाइम्स देन इट्स अ क्यूब रूट सो वी हैव टू पैर द नंबर थ्री थ्री नंबर्स वी हैव टू पैर टू वी हैव देन थ्री ऑल्सो वी हैव थ्री टाइम्स फाइव ऑल्सो वी हैव थ्री टाइम्स सो यू वांट टू फाइंड द क्यूब रूट ऑफ द गिवन नंबर सो टू इनटू टू इनटू टू इनटू थ्री इनटू फाइव सो टू टू जर फोर फोर टू जर एट एट थ्री जर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर इनटू फाइव मल्टीप्लाई फोर फाइव जर ट्वेंटी जीरो देन टू टू फाइव जर टेन टेन प्लस टू इस ट्वेल्व सो द क्यूब रूट ऑफ गिवन नंबर इस वन Twenty. So the answer is one twenty. Next question: Find the cube root of common twenty-nine and six thousand eight fifty-nine by prime factorization method. Seven twenty-nine. If you know the cube root directly means you can write directly, but it is given by prime factorization method. So by using prime number, we have to divide. Find the factors of seven twenty-nine. Three table. Three twos are six. Balance is one. Ten twelve. Four threes are twelve. Three threes are nine. Again, three table. Three eights are twenty-four. Three ones are three. Then three table. Twenty-seven times. Then again three table. Nine threes are twenty-seven. Then three table. Three threes are nine. Then three table one. So the factors of Seven twenty nine is three into three into three into three into three into three. Then cube root you want to find out. So join the number three three number you can join. So cube root of seven twenty nine is three into three. It's nine. So cube root of seven twenty nine is nine. Next time we need to find out same like that six thousand eight fifty nine six thousand eight fifty nine fine the same by using prime factorization so it's a nine cube so nine nineteen cube so nineteen if you are divide with six thousand eight fifty nine you will get three hundred and sixty one if you have doubt you can divide in your rough column then you have to do it again nineteen sum Nineteen, nineteen, so three sixty one. Then nineteen, one time. So the cube root of six thousand eight fifty nine is nineteen cube. So answer cube root of seven twenty nine is nine. Cube root of six thousand eight fifty nine is nineteen. Next question: What is the square root of cube root of forty-six thousand six fifty-six? So first, find the factors of forty-six thousand six fifty-six. So divide with ending with even number. So divide with two table. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Again, two threes are six. Two twos are four. Balance is one. Two eights are Sixteen. Then again two table. One sir. One sir. Then thirteen. Six twos are twelve. Again balance is one. Six twos are twelve. Four twos are eight. Then two table. Five twos are ten. Then eight twos are sixteen. Again three twos are six. Two twos are four. Then two table. Two twos are four. Balance is one nineteen, nine twos are eighteen, two ones are two, two six are twelve. Then two table, one sir, four sir, 
then 5 2 is at 10 balance is 1 8 2 is at 16 then 2 table 7 2 is at 14 then 2 2 is at 9 2 2 is at 4 balance is 1 9 2 is at 18 then we can divide with 72 and 9 is it's 9 table 9 8 is at 72 9 1 is at 9 again 9 table 9 9 is at 81 then 9 table 1 so the factors of 4, 46656 is 2 we have 1 2 5 6 1 2 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 9 into 9 into 9. So cube root of 46656 is so join the numbers 2 into 2 into 9. 2 twos are 4, 4 nines are 36. Here you want to find out what is the square root of cube root of 46656. So we found cube root of 46656 is 36. Then the square root of 36 is 6. So 6 6 are 36. So the cube root of 46656 is 36. Then the square root of that answer is 6. So answer is therefore cube root of 46656 is equal to 36. Then Square root of 36 is 6. Next question. Find the two smallest perfect square number which when multiplied together give you a perfect cube. So here you have to choose any two square number. So the perfect square numbers are for example 5. Perfect square numbers. Let's take. 4 and 16. So find the factors of 4. 2 twos are 4. Then again 2 table 1. Then factors of six perfect square number is 4 fours are 16. So 4 is equal to 2 into 2. Then 16 is equal to 4 into 4. So while multiplying 4 and 16 it's a perfect cube. So 4 into 16 is 64. So 4 into 16 is 64. So find 64 factor is 4 table. Then 16. Again 4 table. 4 fours are 16. So 64 we can write. 64 we can write. It's a 4 cube. Four fours are 16, 16 into 4 is 64. So the given condition is satisfied. So while multiplying, four and 16, perfect cube. Number 64 is obtained so given condition is therefore given condition satisfied